Welcome back to Xenonauts XNT version 6. Last episode we got a medium ship down. Yeah, me. So, uh, not much we got out of that. We got the Corvette Data Corp, which we definitely want to transfer around. There we go, to the Indochina base transfer for 50 bucks. Get that courier on the bike. Um, oh, MiG-32 Foxtrot. Mammoth missile, heavy high explosive missile designed to obliterate medium and large aircraft. Covert recovered equipment, we successfully we found, uh, technically speaking, blah blah, stuff going on. Advanced alloys production reflective assault armor, oh yeah, I want that armor. Uh, our understanding of real uh, this allows us to make further adjustment to our jacket armor and deflect some of the energy weapon damage. Definitely researching that. Go on. Oh, I got this from from uh, uh, here disassembling the Corvette core. Interesting. Um, can I put some guys away? Yes. I want this armor. Oh, this will take a long time. Foxtrot interceptor available to build. Okay. Now. That is not what I wanted. We are going to... to the second base. We're going here. Can I? I can. Trash this. And we are going for the Foxtrot interceptor. Yeah. I hope it is better than uh, the... Chibarashka, probably. It's in the ship, so... Oh, we got something else. With no information. Did we... No, we g didn't get any research. No, I want to see... Did I get money from that? Oh no, right. I probably... I didn't even... Disassemble a data core. How did I get money? Interesting. Uh, first off, 21 hours. Can I? I should be able to get that. Can commence this project for after that. Uh, I do have some weaponry built. Can I do this? I don't think so. Do I have gargoyle? Nope. No gargoyle stuff. Okay, I want to sell some of those, sell all those weapons, there we go, because I need the cash, until I get some new aliens showing up. Indochina would need a new satellite dish too, can't afford, Foxtrot is ready to take off. Now, we want to get this, there we go. Two days for the Corvette disassembling. Now, let's see. There we go. Sea torpedoes. It has two, it has three rockets. Oh, right. This is the Foxtrot. What is this? Under construction. The Apollo? What? Oh, right. This is the disassembling. It only tell, um, it only is named Apollo. So the Foxtrot was a rocket type of ship. Yeah, it's for medium ships only to blast them down with all those rockets. So we can't make any more of those. Corvette disassembling. I can't really condone that. So, how long do you need? One day. You need like 10k. You don't need much money. So I am pausing this. I should have one ready. Yeah. This should be enough for the Corvette disassembling to take place. Nine soldiers arrived. Good. There we go. Corvette disassembling should finish. Oh. Base in North America finished. Missile batteries finished. No aliens. Interesting. No alien sightings as of now. 
Come on, covet disassembling. Go through. There we go. Okay. Now we should have a bunch of stuff now. If I am right. There we go. We have one recovered covert equipment. Holy crap, this thing is. Wow. Bam. 130k. You are not kidding. This is pretty much how I am going to finance my stuff right now. So you are going to produce some more of those for the time being. So far RPG. Oh, this RPG takes some alien alloys. I don't have any more disassembling Foxtrot Interceptor. Okay, can't really produce much else. Let's see what the researcher is doing. Uh, I can get some researcher detected from here. Uh, okay, there we go. And from here, and bam, armor. I want this armor upgrade. Better armor, more survival rate for my guys. Sword rifle finished. You finish your sword rifles, then go on and produce more. There you go. Two days. In two days you can produce so much. There you go, 30. You produce four. Okay, with... Uh, I, will, I will hold on. There we go. Oh, a uh, very small UFO. Good. Two gunners. Go on. A medium. Nice. Shibarashka, Shibarashka, Connor. Another small, which I can't do anything about right now. The fires finished at this base too. Black liquor. I would like one sulfur RPG. There we go. Takes six days. Uh, auto resolve. Return to base. I will. I will crash site. Wait. I want to change some stuff. So. Okay, Rifleman, the thing is... Okay. You are... Terra Mendenhall. First off. You are... Do we have... No. You are one of the most important people I have. So, ammo, ammo, ammo. Now you get another grenade. Because you can keep it. There we go. And... More ammo. There we go. You need ammunition. Simple as that. I need a Terra Mendenhall with a little bit. Everyone gets another extra magazine of... Not you. You don't need. You can carry some more grenades. Some of those fire grenades. There we go. Sniper doesn't need more ammunition for this weapon. But I can get more ammunition for... This weapon, which is a new default, and I can do this. No, this is not the new default. Definitely not. Cancel. Um, do you know what? Set as default. Equip default. I can then interchange stuff. There we go. Nice and easy. Equip default. Away with that. Uh, you can take this grenade. Okay. Everyone got their stuff. We have a little bit jacket armor overflow, which is okay. Now go here, intercept the crash site for some quick cash. I need the cash. In the meantime, we can auto resolve this. Another mission you can then engage. But first off, we are going to engage this small mission, which hopefully doesn't take long. I changed. I don't know if I if I said that I changed the uh, the my mi microphone. I changed where it stands because I had some uh, nasty uh, extra noises. Po I don't have a pop filter, so that was quite uh, bad to hear. So I changed that. I hope it helps. Can't, can't say. I hope this will be a little bit better. I have to... Okay, no shot. I have to um, rebalance the audio. 
Okay. Taking pot shots, not a problem. But I hope this will be better in the long run. Not having this uh, popping sound, which is not the best. I want to at least have uh, acceptable, acceptable quality. Not the highest of qualities because that costs money, but acceptable nonetheless. Uh, where is a Terra Mendenhall moving right here? You should be able to finish him. There we go. One A and finished. Sniper. Go move here. That's the reason. We have some uh, rules and there's probably a Herod in here. So the possibility that he's going to take some shots at us is pretty high. And the sniper is... No, no, oh, I hate your game. God damn it. The chance is high that he will try to attack some of my guys and the sniper is hopefully going to recuperate, re uh, attack him, react. He's probably not going to react because my guys, but he has a chance to react. Which is enough. There we go. Not much action. There should, there could be a Harridan around, but he would have shot at me, I think, at this point. And don't really see much. Oh, this is a whole other map. Interesting. So we have to uh, take a look around here. Wow. What a reaction shot. No, he's on the second floor. Oh yes, bam, good shot. Now, didn't I have my sniper here? No, come on, damn it. You can, you should be able to take a shot. Yeah. The question is, do you hit my guys in the process? You could, which is not what I want. Now you can turn around Mendenhall, you have a little bit more space to walk around. So sniper can move here. Now a Terra Mendenhall is going to I can move through here, which I will do. So most of my guys are going to, uh, to be in the in the building and a Terra Mendenhall is moving outside a bit. Who was Jasper T. Fernandez? The Soul. So they should complement each other. Each other. The Soul is not as fast, sadly. Now the question is, what am I doing with you? I can move you right here. I can't forget that there could be some gargoyles, and you, you can escort the vehicle now. Not enough points to move. You can move here. Which is enough for the time being. There we go. Let's see what the aliens are doing. Uh, interesting. New map and stuff. Whoa. Okay, he shot at a civilian. Not at me. I thought he could have, he saw my guys behind the wall, but doesn't seem so. Still no action. Which is... Oh, interesting. Now, he is at the window, so we can simply barrage him. There we go, he's dead. Easy. And, as I said, there could be gargoyles around. Which would help me, because I can use those grenades. With more and more wipers showing up every... Time. Can move here and see down there. Good. I have a good uh, bit of vision down here. And you can move around here. There we go. 
and you could take a look inside. Doesn't seem to be anything inside here. But who knows? Sniper stays here. Shotgun guy is moving up. And waiting to react for a shot. You, on the other hand, can move up here and look inside here. Look through here. A ah, bunch of buildings. Idea for. Let's move here. Idea for Viper and Gargoyle. Some A and died? No, the guy here died. Okay. He's bleeding to death. It's sad, but. You're fault. Uh, I mean, they see me landing, so they should simply run up to me. I would do that. If aliens were attacking. Or some sort. Some sort of extraterrestrial life is attacking, I would move to where soldiers are. Ah. I know there is uh, the possibility that soldiers are the enemies at this point. Because they. Because you can be effect, infected or stuff. But uh, the chance is much higher that they will help you. So, I can see most of the stuff going on. Now you can go here. You can stand here. Mm, I don't really know where the aliens are. You! Move all the way down here. You can move around here. There we go. Knee down. There we go. Okay. Everyone seems to be in a good position. The top of the hall is a little bit open. Wow. Great shots at my tank. Not bad shots. I mean, 20 damage is pretty good. And I think that was a Harridan. I'm pretty sure that was a Harridan. This weapon is uh, used by Harridans. Let's see. I can't really see him. Um... Yeah, I no, I'm not going to shoot. But I saw some sort of alien outside, which prompts me to move outside myself. Now let's try, there we go, another alien down without a problem. You can proceed to move inside, there we go. These weapons are pretty strong, so I don't think... Aliens will be much of a problem. Nothing inside there, good. Now you can move around here. The civilian moved outside of the building, so I think there is nothing inside the building at this point. Nothing there, nothing there. Mmm. Let's move all the way down here and be in cover. This is the thing that I meant with uh, a Terraman in Hall. She can move all the way to stuff. No, you stay here. There we go. And I can converse the map easily with her. So I don't have a problem with aliens from side to side. Let's stay here. There we go. Wait another turn. Let's see if another alien is shooting. Okay, some alien inside the ship. I don't know if in on the second story are uh, aliens. They ha would have probably taken some shots at my guys. But you never know. There we go. Nothing there, nothing there. Moving into little bit of cover. 
you can say a door, yes. You can move up here. There we go. Um I have someone who is going to look around inside there, so no need for another one. Okay. Let's uh, move the tank. He can't move here. I could put in here. There we go. Oh, some alien scum is taking shots at me. Can I take a shot at him if I move here? I can't. Can I throw a grenade? I can. There we go. Don't think this grenade hits. Don't even don't know. So there we go. We see where the alien landed. We see the inside of the ship. Which is a lot more than where the alien landed. The ship. There we go. A Terra Mendenhall taking some some more. There we go. Another building cleared. Hmm, the alien aliens didn't spread much, did they? Quite disappointing. Would have thought this would be a harder mission than it is. So, a lot of damage for him. Something died. I don't think the alien... Right. So, some civilian died because of bleeding. There we go. Holy crap. There are a ton of aliens inside. And a blob. So the reason why they couldn't move outside is because of the block. So we see we can take a look around. There we go. Nothing going on here. Moving outside. You can... You can move up here. I know, there we go. Move up. We can take some shots at him. We will. Da -da uh, we can take a snap. Set. There we go. One down. Only a couple to go. There we go. Moving up here. Can you take a shot? Can. Not from here, but from here. No. Uh, from here. Yes. There we go. A and down. You can move into cover here. Can take the tank up. There we go. Moving around. You can go in position here. Now the sniper can go into the into here. As little. There we go. No, do, do, do. who did not move much? You did, but you can react there now. If the door is opened. If not, then who cares? Okay, aliens moving inside. There's a wiper. I can't dismiss that fact. But that is everything they have, more or less. I'm going to kill this door. There we go, should be down next round. In the meantime, moving up my tank. Moving up my guys. There we go. You should be able to move right here. They can't really do much. I only need to kill the blobs and they spew, spew out or spew out. Like the Menacea. And after that, um, I only have to kill the Viper, which is probably the hardest thing to kill at this point. And the rest is there. I mean, the Blob is the first thing that has to die, because I can't move out if it doesn't die. And the civilian, as uh, the season inside, is pretty much toast at this point. Not much he can do. There we go. Okay, the door. With this shot. Bam. Now we can see inside. Uh, could probably 
kill that. Moving you. Hello. Right. Oh, my tank is nearly dead. There we go. Nice shot. So, we did, took zero damage. I mean, zero active participation in 10 missions, eliminating someone. So, we got a new captain, a new lieutenant. We only have two, we have only one corporal. We got 90k from those spice rows. These blobs are pretty, pretty good money. It seems at least. So we finished that mission. And that is a good uh, episode, I would say. Can change some research. For some better armor. Always at there we go and what do we want uh, damage boost against aims is definitely damage boost the second best thing after tank okay so do we have a little bit of money only really a little bit can't do much about America okay I will end this episode here don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.